Welcome back to another episode of the APF franchise. And before I get to the players and note, please like and subscribe and comment or whatever. It, I truly appreciate it. Players of note, quarterback Ryan Hughes, running back Sherman Hickson, wide receiver Charlie Hefner, Riley Luce, Shad Rock, uh, and they're, they have a great O-line. In their defense, uh, Travis Stank, DN, Terry McGillan, D Tackle, CBs are Kurt Stafer, Cameron Suggs, Mervyn Mahoney, Free Safety Dudley Bow, Bow, and Strong Safety Mark Oldham. They are missing Eric McMahon, which is one of the best wide receivers in the league. He was suspended for the Eagles. They have a very explosive offense. Not as good as the Bears, but their offense is crazy good. And we're going to be on the kickoff here. And the Wolves start with the ball. Nye has been a backup for this team for many years. Let's see how he knows this offense with the new coach. And with some of the new players like Houston Wick. This week, if you see Giovanni Nye is starting for Benulis and he pitches it to Witt, and that's a loss of yards. Benulis finally got benched after his bad play, and Nye, the backup, who has a strong arm, is playing, and Witt is also starting as well. This team that, that they're going against has an extremely good offense. Can the Wolves keep up? I personally don't think so, but let's see. And that's a great pass to Davon Kenny. Giovanni Nye has a great arm, let me tell you. Nye's giving the shotgun. He's not very agile. He's six foot seven, so he can truck someone, but other than that, it's not like he's gonna be breaking ankles like Benuos does. He gives it to Witt, and Witt gets a good gain on the play. Houston Witt with a great run there. Benuos not in the game. He's on the sideline. He said in the press that he understands his play's been bad, but he personally thinks the team's better with him, but he's going to support Nye as much as possible. Nye in the shotgun still. He steps back in the pocket. He throws a pass in between coverages, and that's to Davon, or not to Davon Kenny, that's to Eric Trout. What a great pass to Eric Trout there. In between two people. We've never seen Benilis make that play. Nye steps back. He gets sacked. He gets sacked by Cameron Suggs. He was playing in the nickel and he was blitzing. Second down and 14. Giovanni Nye steps back. He runs away from the pressure. He throws on the run and he throws that out of bounds. That was to McNally. Giovanni Nye steps back. He sits in the pocket again. He overthrows the ball to McNally down the field. Fourth down and 14. Brockman is probably going to get the kick here. Yep. They just set him up for the field goal. Brockman's very been very shaky this season, and he's playing in the rain. Brockman kicks the ball. It looks like it's going to go out, but it cuts back in, and it's through the uprights. Sacramento's up. Three. Boston, zero. Brockman's going to kick it off now. That was a good offensive drive, but it kind of sp sputtered near the end. And it goes out, out of the end zone. And they cut to the 20 yard line. And oh my, what a good pitch. Ryan Humes pitched it to Sherman Hickson. Sherman Hickson's a great power running back. He's super short, but man, is it hard to tackle him. Ryan Humes steps back, he throws the ball, and that's a good catch. By Francisco. Humes under center, he gives it to Hickson again, and Hickson shoots out of the defender, and that's a first down. This team's very, very good. Very underrated. Could definitely win a, uh, a championship this year. Ryan Humes, very young, but he's a, he's a future Hall of Famer, and he's only played like two years. Humes steps back. Under center, he throws the ball to Francisco again and gets tackled. And after the failed drive, Wolves are going to get it after the punt. And Nye's in the backfield. 
He steps back. He throws the ball to Davon Kenny again on the post route. Davon Kenny's killing it this game so far. They call no huddle. It seems like Nine knows this offense pretty well. He steps back. He sits in the pocket. Gets perfect blocking in. Almost throws a pick to McNally, but McNally ends up batting the ball away. Nine tries to throw it into really tight coverage. This could bite him in the butt this game. Nye pitches it to Wit. Wit gets great blocking. He runs up. He runs next to the sideline and gets tackled outside. But oh my goodness, 39 yards right there. What a great play by Houston Wit. Nye steps back. He gets some pressure. He throws the ball and that's a pick. Oh my, what a great pick. Will he get tackled? He finally gets tackled. Mark Oldham. What a great play. He baited Nye right there. Wolves are still up 3-0 to zero against the Gladiators. Humes gives it to Hickson. Hickson gets the blocking. He finds a way to get through for six yards. Nye is not happy on the sideline. Guinness Wolves defense stops him. Hickson gets another counter. He spins, and that's a first down. 26 yards on five carries. He's having a good game so far. Oh, there. Gladiators are in the empty. Ryan Humes changing the play. Very good quarterback. Humes steps back. He throws on the run, and that's another catch to Francisco. Oh my. Ryan Humes on fire. Looks like Humes is in the empty again. He's all alone back there. He sits in the pocket. There's some pressure. He throws under pressure, and that's another catch. Nice throw. After a failed second down, it's third down of seven. Humes in the backfield. What will he do here? He's changing the play. He steps back. The pocket, pocket collapsing. He throws the ball. Oh my goodness. That's a touchdown for the Gladiators. Charlie Hefner with the catch. He just breaks on that route. Stops and then touchdown. Let's see it one more time. Hefner stops and then touchdown. After PAT, it's seven to three. Nye still in the backfield. He tries, he trucks to a defender, but gets tackled. Almost sacked. That was a great play by Charlie Hefner. How he just stopped against Holton. Wit in the backfield. Nye pitches it to Wit. Wit tries to outrun a defender. And that's a good game. No huddle by the Wolves. Nine steps back. He throws the ball. Almost picked off. Fourth down and three. Oh my. They're going for it. Giovanni Nye steps back in the pocket. He runs to his right. He throws the ball. It gets tipped down. He threw it a little too short that time. First down and 10 for the Gladiators. They, they give it to Hickson. Hickson runs through the D line. Oh my, oh my gosh, that's another touchdown. Hickson broke a tackle and outran everyone for the touchdown. And after that, it's Wolves ball again. Houston will get stopped for a loss. Wits having a good game. Let's see if I can continue. The defense for the Gladiators is pretty stout. And again, Wick gets the pitch and he gets tackled for a loss. Wolves, third down and long. Nye sits in the back, in the pocket, and it gets tipped and it gets intercepted. By Mervyn Mahoney. What a pick. They're the gladiators in the red zone already. Let's see what Ryan Humes does here. 
He gives it to Hickson on the counter, and he gets tackled for a loss. And they give it to Hickson again on another counter, and Hickson gets a couple yards on the play. Third down and seven. Sherman Hickson's having a really good game. Humes under center in the empty. He sits in the pocket. And, oh, it always gets picked off, but it's dropped. They're going for the field goal here. And it's through. Boston's up 17 to 3. And after that, the Wolves have the ball. They give it to Witt. He gets some blocking. He tries to the defender, but gets hit hard. No huddle. Oh, it's not now in the backfield. But Newless is back. Bernoulos is now playing. I guess they were not happy with how Nye was playing at all. Bernoulos going to try to bring back this team like he does. And Witt gets the pitch. He gets some blocking. He juts out a defender but gets tackled out of bounds. But after a failed drive... Gladiators get the ball back. Seven, still 17 to 3. And their drive fails as well. Vanulis gets the ball and gives it to Witt and gets tackled for a loss. Second down and 15. Vanulis now starting. He gets, he sits in the pocket. He outruns the defender, and he runs with the ball across the line of scrimmage. That's almost a first down. Third down and four. But Lewis, with his running ability, sets him from the pack. His arm may not be great, but he, he, he is special. Carries in the game. Houston Witt pitches it to Carey. And Carey tries to break the tackle, but doesn't. Fourth down and five. They're going to have to go for it. I mean, they could try to punt it and try to stop them, but they're going to try to go for it. Benulis gets the ball. Pressure's all to his right. He runs to his left. There's no one in front of him, and that's a first down and more. He breaks the tackle while running out of bounds. First down. What a great play by Benulis. He flips the play. Benu is sca scanning the defense. He gives it to Houston Witt, and he Witt gets tackled for a loss. Benu changes the play at the line of scrimmage. He's under center. He gets the ball. He stands in the pocket. He's trying to run, and he, he tries throwing the ball. He tries pitching the ball back. And he gets, and it's a fumble. Simon Grady with the picking up the fumble there. 17 to three still. Gladiators ball. Second down and ten. They try throwing the ball. It's a fumble. Oh my. Will will they challenge it though? They challenge it, and Gladiators get the ball back. Third down and ten. Humes gets back. Lerma in the coverage. Overdoes it. And the receiver gets, his, gets the catch. I believe that was Hefner. Ryan Humes under center still. He sits back. The left hander. He throws the ball. And that's a, five, that's a four yard gain. To Riley Moose. Humes steps back. He throws the ball. And that's almost picked off by two defenders. But it gets dropped by both. Fourth down and seven. They're out for the, the field goal again. And they kick it. And it's through. Gladiators are now up 20 to three.
Benulis runs to his right. He, he might see someone open. He throws the ball and overthrows it. He overthrew Houston Witt. Benulis sitting in the pocket. He's run with the ball. It gets tackled. Third down and four. Benulis changing the play at the line of scrimmage here. They may run it with Witt. They give it to Witt now. And Witt doesn't get any yards. They're going for it. They have to. They don't believe in their defense. This offense looking maybe a little bit better with Benulis. Benulis sits in the pocket. He's got a great pocket. He throws the ball down the field. That's almost picked off. McNally was deep and almost had him deep, but Benulis just lame ducked that throw. Humes gives it to Hickson. Hickson gets some blocking. He brings a couple tackles, and that's a 10 yard gain, second down in inches. Humes doing the reverse pitch to Hickson, and that gets stopped for a loss. Gruen is doing great this game in tackles. Humes under center again. He pitches it to Hickson and gets tackled for a loss. The Wolves defense stopped them. And after the punt, the Wolves were stuck in their own end zone. The Wolves give it to Witt. Witt gets some blocking here. He outruns the defender, but that's a six yard game. Benulis needs to make some magic happen. He's had some really close wins this season and a lot of bad losses. Benulis gets sacked. I believe that was Travis Stank on the sack. Benulis looking at the defense. He's, he rolls to his left. He throws on the run and that's a catch to Teddy Moon. What a great catch by Teddy Moon there. Oh my. On the sideline and everything. Benulis trying to make something happen here. Benulis sits back in the pocket. He throws the ball under pressure. That's a catch to Davon Kenny in another post route. Davon Kenny's having a good game today. Stan Main hasn't been getting many uh, catches lately, but he, they've been doing a lot of four wide receiver sets here. Witt gets the ball. He's going to try to outrun some defenders here, but only maybe gets a yard. Benulis changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Under center in the shotgun. He steps back. He rolls to his left. He throws the ball across his body. And that's another catch to Teddy Moon. Another catch to Teddy Moon. Or for Teddy Moon, sorry. Benulis making some magic happen here. He steps back. There's not much pressure. He tries to throw the ball and gets hit as he throws. The pressure finally came. They pitch it to Houston Witt here. He doesn't, or no, it was carry. And there's not much blocking there. Houston Witt got tired. Benulis gets the ball. There's not much pressure. He throws the ball to Teddy Moon again. Just burning their defensive backs. Benulis changing the play again. There's only 241 left in the quarter. He stands in the pocket. He sees someone open. He throws in the double coverage and always gets picked off. Benulis stands back. And again, almost picked off. Third and goal. Benulis in the shotgun again. He gets the ball. He sits in the pocket. There's pressure and he gets sacked. Fourth and goal. They, they kick the field goal. They give it to Hickson. Hickson's running. Oh my goodness. Hickson was a great run right there. This is after the two minute warning. The Wolves are going to have to stop him here to even have a little bit of a chance.
to give it to Hickson again. Hickson gets the blocking, and he gets tackled for a five-yard gain. The Wolves need to stop him. Gladiators, what are they going to do here? And Hickson gets the first down. The game is over. And more. He gets even more yards. The game is over. There's no way they're going to continue playing, but they're just going to kneel the ball here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I can't believe the Wolves lost again. I hope to see you next time on another episode of the APF Franchise. Have a good day.